in half, okay? I just roll them on the side and look, they're tush. Everything is wide open right here, okay? So I pull the diaper out just like that, and then I proceed to clean up the tush. Now with girls, what do they always say? Front to back, front to back. Why is that? Because if you get poop in their vagina, you could cause a yeast infection or anything like that. Okay, so we want to avoid that. But I'm here to tell you when you're first cleaning up the baby, there's poop everywhere, okay? So sometimes it doesn't work that way. You want to finish at the end by making sure that it's clean front to back, okay? All right, so we clean up the baby, and then if you can, if this isn't like a total disaster, you can put the wipes into the diaper like that. I relax them down. You can close up the diaper, and you can toss it like that. Okay, that happens 85% of the time where you could actually fold everything back up in the diaper and toss it, okay? So now the baby's ready for a clean tush. I roll the baby over, okay? Usually the little emblem or the little Mickey Mouse or whatever is going to be in the front of the diaper because people ask that. I have a question. When you roll the baby, like, do you have to hold the head to stabilize no, it? No, they're, they're right on the bed. So I just roll them to the side just like this. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about their neck or anything? No, because you're, about... you're so close. It's okay. not like, as long as you're not like, <coughs> like that. You know, or like, <laughs> no flips yet. This is not gymnastics. You just, and you, you know, you hold them, you just roll them right to the side. And when they're this little, I'm telling you, I can't imagine that people complain about changing babies. Because by the time they're six months old, you need to manage them down because they're like, you know, reaching and kicking and rolling. It's much different, I'm telling you. It's wild. But I will tell you this. In a couple of weeks, you'll be changing diapers in your sleep. I'm telling you, diapers is such not a big deal. It's Diapers is good. It's a couple intimate minutes you have out of the craziness that you're kind of bonding with your baby. Okay, so I roll the baby to the side. And again, you guys, can, if you are more comfortable doing this number, do it. But I'm just telling you the different options that you have, okay? Some people don't realize that you can just roll the baby over and here you go. All right, so. Now you just put the diaper on the back, like so, roll them over. Okay, now, how tight do you make the diaper? I make it tight, as tight as you can make it without, you know, you want to be able to get a finger or two in there, but too loose is no good. Again, my brother-in-law, one day he used to call us and they'd say, the baby's soaking all of its outfits because he was peeing. Today, number one, if you're having a boy, point his pecker down in the diaper. Point his pecker down. Okay, and then their combination of leaving the pecker pointed up and the diaper being too loose, he would soak all of his clothes. He would just pee all the time, out, you know, out of the diaper. Now, you're going to have 14, 16 diapers a day, okay? What? Yes, and that is good. Pooping and peeing is a good way to know your kid is healthy. You want them going to the bathroom. That is good, good, good. That's one of the key signs if there's something wrong, is that they're not going to the bathroom, wetting the diapers, you know, during the day. Okay. So you want it nice and snug, and then we wrap them up. All right? I got one question. Please. Um, you, don't you have to put, like, that uh, zinc oxide and stuff on there? You don't you? have to do anything. A lot of people choose to put on diaper rash cream and that kind of stuff. You can put on baby powder. You can put on rose petals. You can put on whatever you like. Um, that's, What's your personal preference? That's your personal preference, exactly. What, what, what did you use, baby powder or the creams? Or? Um, we got some creams at first and then baby powder and... Whatever. We were, uh, yeah, sometimes we just didn't put anything. Now, write this one down. This is a hero tip for you guys. Okay. Diaper rash. Okay. 
if your baby gets diaper rash, so first of all, their skin is super sensitive when they're very little, okay? Very sensitive. So a lot of times putting on some cream or lotion is great, okay? Because it just helps, because if they do poop, poop or pee, it's a barrier and it helps to protect their skin, okay? So if a diaper rash is not clearing up in a couple days, like two days, it's not a diaper rash. It's a yeast infection, okay? And if it's like red and bumpy, and it doesn't go away in two days, yeast infection, okay? If it's dark and moist down there, it's a yeast infection, okay? And the way to fix it is go to Walmart or wherever you go and get some athlete's foot cream, and there you go. You put on some athlete's foot cream to the infection down there, pulls it back up. You will be a hero because, and also, they'll get a yeast infection around their neck. Sometimes you're doing everything right and they're just so uncomfortable and you lift up because they drink the milk and it goes down into their neck and they're all squished up like this and you always have them wrapped up. So they'll get a yeast infection around here and it's so uncomfortable for them. So you just put the diaper, you know, the, that stuff on there and it clears up in a day or so. But I'm telling you, a lot of times, uh, a diaper rash would go on for a couple days, and then it comes into three days, and I'm like, man, it's not getting better, it's not getting better. And then, you know, after, you know, four kids, you know, and probably after the second or third, you realize it's a yeast infection. So that is a big tip for you guys. Except for guys and girls? Yep, guys and girls. Boys, you know, will get the, all the babies could get it around their neck, and that's a big, you know, just imagine it's itchy and it's burning and it's really uncomfortable. Talk about being a hero. If you're like, honey, it's not a yeast infection, it's not a thing. We gotta get to the stuff. What? And then it works. <laughs> All right, you're a hero.